a situation where uh, actually it, unemployment is not the issue. The vast majority of people who are in poverty by the standard measures are actually in work. Uh, most two parent families are, uh, or many two parent families are dependent on state benefits um, as well as what they earn. If you're a single parent, you probably need two or three jobs and state benefits to manage. Around half of those that we provide food to are single individuals of working age who cites low income as their reason to bring them to our doors. So these are people who are working uh, almost certainly in receipt of, of extra benefits, yes, but um, very often the, the uh, standard food bank client, if you like, will be seen as being a scrounger. You, we've all seen the, the press over the years, the scrounger on benefits, they ought to stop getting Sky and all those terrible things that, that people are, are accused of. Um, but actually, um, our experience is that there are people who are working really hard and in the current environment um, with the economic downturn, all we can see is um, an increase in the numbers. <laughs>on from that to the food bank context it's in a situation where uh, it's actually struggling to do its fundamental job both the vans that the, the food bank had were not working and then the warehouse which had been okay for a time was now absolutely rammed so we're looking at increasing the square meterage probably almost doubling it not only for food what we want to do is to do other things alongside that help people Certainly Rotary or Rotarians in Cardiff have contributed at least six grand to the food bank. Emerging from that, there's a continued desire uh, to help the food bank. I just wanted to briefly explain the role of a volunteer within the food bank. I've seen many changes in the organisation during the five years I've been with the food bank. Not least is the growing demand for food by those in need. Thanks to the generosity and compassion of the general public and many corporate bodies, uh, food and financial support has been forthcoming. However, none of this would be possible without the volunteers who give of their time so generously. There are more than 200 volunteers that help at Cardiff Food Bank. And what stands out is their dedication to offering regular and reliable support and their passion to make sure that help is given where it is most needed. I know it sounds a little cliche to say I want to give something back to my community, but the truth is I take great pride in my work and get a lot of satisfaction from knowing that in some small way, I am one of many cogs in a bigger wheel that is helping someone go through a crisis. Volunteering with the Cardiff Food Bank enables me to keep in touch with reality. It's a very humbling experience, but it does give me a great sense of the community spirit that still exists today, along with people's kindness, compassion, and generosity. What we want to do is to do other things alongside that help people um, to hopefully not need to come to our doors. So one of our ideas is um, for those that find gaining employment difficult, perhaps we could offer them some volunteering opportunities. Uh, as, as Peter has said, we already have over 200 that volunteer with us. Um, but maybe being a bit more proactive in looking to those that maybe have some mental health issues to just offer them some volunteering opportunities. By having a bigger warehouse, maybe having a, a training room in there, uh, we'd be able uh, to, to do that. We also recognize that those uh, people that on, on low wages uh, are not very good uh, in the kitchen. Um, I can say, I can say uh, I'm no expert. My husband does all the cooking in our home, um, but, but I recognize that for many people, cooking a, a basic meal is something that's very difficult for them. So we'd like to partner with other organisations, perhaps have some kitchen um, provision, all actually um, for, for the, the ongoing um, partnership that, uh, that we have uh, with you as individual clubs and now more collectively across Cardiff. <laughs> So that's the context. Uh, now the appeal, briefly. Um, we've set our tells a target of 15,000. Uh, a small part of that might go to help the, the van, but the van is largely dealt with. 
Um, the most of it will go towards uh, a warehouse, the warehouse, kitting out a new warehouse. I just, this is the page that has been set up. This is the link that people need. You can find it in the traditional manner by you know going to going to Just Giving, and then it's under the local community tab.